I am going to be baking Millie's cookies and I'm going to be doing chocolate orange version for myself and then I'm going to be doing just plain chocolate chips for Neil because he doesn't like chocolate orange which I think is like an ultimate sin like how could you not like chocolate orange yeah. I'll put all of the ingredients in the recipe down in the description box below so you can follow it I'll also go through it in the video for you so you're going to need 125 grams of butter 100 grams of light brown sugar you need 125 grams of caster sugar half a teaspoon of salt one egg a bit of vanilla essence, 225 grams of self-raising flour, and then about 200 grams of chocolate. So this is 175, so Jesus Christ, that's a lot of chocolate. I don't actually put in that much chocolate because I prefer, I don't like it being like too much, but it's completely up to you, and then obviously I've got the rest of the chocolate chips as well. What you're going to want to do first of all is put the oven to 180, so I've just turned mine on now. I'm not very, I'm not like a professional baker youtuber like this is my second like baking video so you have to bear with um i feel like i'm jamie oliver so once you've put the oven on what you need to do is you need to cream together your butter and your sugar your sugar what on earth is that in my mixture don't know just pick that out um god knows what that was you want to add in your egg and your vanilla essence and then gradually add in your flour and then once you've got that all mixed in you're going to want to add your salt and then your chocolates so that's what i'm going to do next filming the video the main light hasn't been on so i do apologize about the lighting but like i said not professional once you have sorted out all your cookie dough obviously that batch is nails and then the bigger batch is mine you're going to want to get i just use one of these like pastry pastry brushes with a little bit of butter and just sort of go over your tray so your cookies don't get stuck because trust me i've done that before not fun done your tray what you're going to want to do is grab your dough and make small balls now they say like the size of walnuts i'll show you what i do just take it roll it like that Once you've put your cookies in the oven, you want to keep them in there for about seven to 10 minutes. I would say probably eight. If you go too far, they go really hard and crunchy and they're just not nice at all. When you take them out, they will look very pale. Um, but then again, if you think about Millie's cookies, Millie's cookies look pale as well. So give it seven to 10 minutes, keep an eye on it from seven minutes and then just see what you think is best and just judge it however you want to have your cookies. So my cookies are now done. I'm just about to take them out of the oven, but this is what they look like. Like I said, they do look very pale, but 
they taste incredible so i'm now going to get those out and there we have our millie's cookies these ones are slightly overdone these ones are perfect um so we've got plain chocolate chip and then the ones with the chocolate exposed are terry's chocolate orange so there we go, that is how I make my take on Millie's cookies. I hope you all really enjoyed this video. Leave me a comment below letting me know if you try it and if you like it. If you've got any other recipes that you'd like me to do, leave a comment below and I'll be sure to try and get some for you. I hope you all enjoyed it and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye!